Have you ever wondered why some people naturally draw others in while others struggle to connect? The secret might not lie in flashy gestures or grand displays, but in subtle, yet powerful habits that exude confidence and warmth. Imagine being that person who effortlessly attracts and holds the attention of those around you. Sounds intriguing, right? Stoicism teaches us that our external demeanor reflects our internal state. As Epictetus put it, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This wisdom invites us to explore how cultivating specific habits can transform our presence and appeal, helping us connect more deeply with others. In this exploration, we'll uncover 12 stoic habits that not only enhance your attractiveness, but also align with timeless principles of self-mastery and emotional intelligence. From the subtle art of body language to the profound impact of psychological steadiness, each habit offers a unique pathway to making a meaningful impression. Prepare to delve into practical strategies that merge Stoic philosophy with everyday interactions. By integrating these habits into your life, you'll find yourself not just attracting attention but fostering genuine connections built on authenticity and grace. So, ready yourself for a journey of personal transformation. Embrace these Stoic habits and watch as they elevate your interactions and make you more magnetic than ever before. Lesson 1. Faking Confidence Ever noticed how some folks seem to radiate confidence even when they're anything but sure of themselves? Here's the secret. Acting confident can actually lead to real confidence. By mastering the art of displaying self-assurance through your body language, you can shift perceptions and eventually your own self-view. Imagine walking into a room with your shoulders back, chin up, and a firm handshake. It's not just about appearances. It's about setting a standard for how you expect to be treated. Marcus Aurelius once said, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Embrace this mindset by portraying the confidence you wish to embody. Even if inside you're feeling the jitters, maintaining a confident exterior can help solidify that perception. Over time, your self-assured actions will align with your inner feelings, creating a genuine sense of confidence. It's fascinating how powerful body language can be. For instance, smiling and standing tall can make you appear more approachable and competent. If you're unsure about your new job, for example, fake a confident demeanor when meeting colleagues. Your positive energy will not only boost your own morale, but also influence how others perceive you. Practice this in daily interactions, at the grocery store, during meetings, or even on casual calls. By consistently adopting these confident behaviors, you begin to reshape your internal narrative. This is where Stoicism intersects beautifully with everyday life. The Stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control aligns perfectly with this concept. Control your outward expression and watch how it affects your inner confidence. It's a dynamic interplay between perception and reality that can reshape your self-esteem over time. So, start small. Act confidently in low-stakes situations and gradually move to more significant ones. Your new confident demeanor will eventually become second nature. This practice of embodying confidence is not just about fooling others. It's about building a solid foundation for your own self-assurance. Embrace it and let it guide you toward becoming genuinely confident. Lesson 2. Eye Contact Pattern Ever felt the power of a gaze? Eye contact isn't just about looking someone in the eyes. It's a subtle dance that reveals interest and confidence. When you engage in a pattern of meeting someone's gaze, briefly looking away, and then reconnecting, you're crafting a connection that's both personal and powerful. This rhythmic interaction fosters trust and shows that you're fully present in the moment, making your presence more magnetic and engaging. Seneca once noted, The bravest sight in the world is to see a man who has not been spoiled by fortune. This holds true for eye contact. By maintaining steady eye contact, you project not just interest, but also a certain inner strength. Even if you're feeling unsure, Practicing this pattern can enhance how you're perceived, 
turning an ordinary interaction into a memorable exchange of connection. Consider this. When you're in a conversation, hold the person's gaze for a moment, then glance away briefly before reconnecting. This simple pattern makes the interaction feel more natural and engaging. For instance, during a job interview, use this technique to show you're attentive and genuinely interested in the conversation. Your gaze will convey confidence and establish rapport more effectively than words alone. The stoic approach to eye contact reflects a commitment to authenticity and presence. By focusing on the current interaction and letting your gaze be a reflection of genuine interest, you embody the stoic value of mindfulness. This practice aligns with the principle of controlling your actions while letting go of the outcomes. Your eye contact becomes a powerful tool in shaping how you connect with others. As you refine this skill, notice how it enhances your interactions. Each glance and shift in gaze builds a stronger connection, transforming mundane conversations into meaningful exchanges. Embrace this practice and watch how it elevates your presence and influence in both personal and professional settings. Lesson three, the scientific power of smiles. Ever wondered why smiles are so universally appealing? It's not just because they're pleasant to see. Smiling triggers the release of feel-good chemicals like dopamine and serotonin in your brain, making interactions more enjoyable and enhancing your overall energy. This simple action can make you appear more youthful and vibrant, which naturally draws people in. The science behind it is clear. Smiles are a powerful tool for improving both your mood and how others perceive you. Epictetus said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Smiling, even when you're not feeling it, can alter your mood and interactions significantly. By consciously choosing to smile, you create a positive feedback loop. Your brain releases chemicals that make you feel better, which in turn makes you more pleasant to be around. This approach aligns perfectly with stoic resilience and the power of personal response. Imagine walking into a room and smiling at everyone you meet. Not only does this make you seem more approachable, but it also influences your own mood and energy levels. For example, when meeting new people or giving a presentation, a genuine smile can help ease tension and foster a friendly atmosphere. This small gesture can be a game changer in how you connect with others. Incorporating smiles into your daily routine can be transformative. Whether you're interacting with friends, family or colleagues, a smile is a subtle but effective way to enhance your presence. This practice is deeply rooted in stoic principles of self-control and positive influence. By managing your expressions, you influence both your emotional state and the reactions of those around you. So start using smiles as a tool to boost your interactions and improve your mood. It's a simple yet powerful way to enhance your personal and professional relationships. Embrace the science of smiling and see how it transforms your daily experiences. Lesson four, mewing to improve your face. Have you heard about mewing? It's more than just a trend. It's about proper tongue posture that can gradually enhance your facial structure. By resting your tongue on the roof of your mouth, you can influence your jawline and overall facial symmetry over time. This technique, grounded in principles of posture and alignment, offers a subtle yet impactful way to refine your appearance. Seneca wisely said, It is not that we spend five days at work and then a couple of days in the mountains, but that we work in a way that brings us joy. Applying this to mewing, consider it as part of your daily routine to improve your facial aesthetics. Although it might seem minor, consistent practice can lead to noticeable changes. By integrating mewing into your daily habits, you're investing in long-term self-improvement. For example, when you're sitting at your desk or watching TV, make a habit of keeping your tongue pressed gently against the roof of your mouth. This practice can help align your jaw and improve your overall facial structure. Over time, this small adjustment can enhance your profile and give you a more defined appearance, reflecting a commitment to personal care and improvement. This practice ties into stoic values of self-discipline and patience. Just as stoicism teaches us to focus on long-term goals and gradual progress, 
Mewing requires consistent effort and patience to see results. It's a reflection of how small, disciplined actions can lead to significant improvements over time. Incorporate mewing into your daily routine and observe the subtle changes in your appearance. It's a testament to how dedication to small practices can yield significant benefits. Embrace this technique and let it become part of your journey towards self-improvement. Lesson 5. The Power of Status Have you noticed how status influences attraction? It's not just about wealth or position. High social status signals resources and genetic quality. When someone holds a prominent role or achieves notable success, they inherently attract attention and respect. This dynamic is deeply rooted in human psychology and mirrors the Stoic idea of value through virtue and excellence. Marcus Aurelius once observed, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In the context of social status, this means that pursuing high status can be a path to personal growth and opportunity. By striving for excellence in your field or role, you not only enhance your own standing, but also naturally draw people towards you who recognize and respect your achievements. Consider how you can elevate your status in various aspects of life, whether it's advancing in your career, developing new skills, or taking on leadership roles. These actions contribute to your social standing. For example, working on a high-profile project or leading a team can boost your visibility and perceived value, attracting more opportunities and connections. This concept aligns with Stoic teachings of striving for personal excellence and letting your actions speak for themselves. High status, achieved through dedication and hard work, reflects a commitment to virtue and mastery. By focusing on your own growth and success, you embody the Stoic principle of acting in accordance with your values and potential. As you work towards enhancing your status, remember that it's not just about external validation, but about personal fulfillment and growth. Embrace the journey of self-improvement and let your achievements naturally attract respect and admiration. Lesson 6. Secrets of Body Language Ever considered how much your body language influences perceptions of confidence? It's not just about standing tall or making eye contact. Every gesture and posture communicates something about you. Good posture, steady eye contact, genuine smiles, and purposeful hand movements can significantly impact how others view you. This nonverbal communication plays a crucial role in how you're perceived and how effectively you connect with others. Epictetus once remarked, it is not events that disturb people, it is their judgments concerning them. This applies to body language as well. How you carry yourself and express confidence can shape how others interpret your character and intentions. By mastering body language, you align your external presence with your inner confidence, creating a harmonious and compelling impression. Imagine walking into a room with your shoulders back, making eye contact, and offering a warm smile. These actions instantly convey confidence and openness. For instance, during a meeting, sitting up straight and using deliberate hand gestures can make you appear more engaged and authoritative. These small adjustments in your body language can make a significant difference in how you're perceived. Incorporating effective body language into your interactions is a practice in stoic self-mastery. It's about managing your external expression to align with your internal state of confidence and calm. By refining your gestures and posture, you enhance your presence and effectiveness in both personal and professional settings. So, pay attention to your body language and use it as a tool to project confidence and connect with others. Mastering these subtle signals can lead to more successful and fulfilling interactions, reflecting your stoic commitment to self-improvement. Lesson 7. The Goldilocks IQ. Ever wondered how intelligence affects attraction? It's not about being the smartest person in the room, rather it's about striking the right balance. Intelligence is attractive when it stimulates conversation and showcases insight without overwhelming others with complexity. This Goldilocks approach, being smart enough to impress but not so complex that you alienate, can make you more engaging and relatable. Seneca wisely said, It is not that we spend five days at work and then a couple of days in the mountains, but that we work in a way that brings us joy. 
When applying this to intelligence, it's about finding joy in sharing knowledge in a way that's accessible and stimulating. By balancing your intellectual insights with a conversational tone, you connect more effectively with others, fostering meaningful interactions. Think about how you discuss your ideas. Avoid jargon and complex explanations that might alienate your audience. Instead, frame your thoughts in a way that invites dialogue and encourages curiosity. For instance, rather than diving deep into technical details, offer intriguing insights and ask thought-provoking questions to engage your listeners. This balance reflects stoic principles of moderation and clear communication. It's not about showing off your intellect, but about using it to enhance connections and understanding. By finding this sweet spot, you align with stoic values of effective and harmonious interaction. Incorporate this balanced approach to intelligence into your interactions and watch how it enhances your ability to connect and engage with others. It's a testament to how moderation in showcasing your intellect can lead to more impactful and fulfilling exchanges. Lesson 8. Hot People Work Out Isn't it fascinating how exercise boosts attractiveness? Regular physical activity doesn't just improve your physique, it enhances your overall appeal and confidence. Exercise releases endorphins, which elevate your mood and make you appear more vibrant and energetic. This transformation isn't just skin deep, it reflects a commitment to health and self-care that others find compelling. Marcus Aurelius noted, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. Applying this to fitness, Investing in your health can be seen as a form of self-improvement and resilience. By maintaining a regular workout routine, you demonstrate discipline and a positive attitude towards personal well-being, which naturally attracts admiration and respect. Consider integrating exercise into your daily routine, whether it's hitting the gym, practicing yoga, or taking regular walks. Find an activity that suits your lifestyle and preferences. For example, Joining a local sports team or participating in group fitness classes can also offer social benefits and enhance your overall appeal. This commitment to physical fitness aligns with stoic teachings on self-discipline and resilience. By improving your physical health, you not only boost your appearance but also cultivate a stoic mindset of perseverance and self-improvement. This holistic approach enhances your attractiveness in a genuine and sustainable way. So embrace the power of regular exercise and let it elevate your confidence and appeal. It's a practical manifestation of stoic values, reflecting your dedication to personal growth and well-being. Lesson 9. Basic Positive Energy Have you ever noticed how a positive attitude can be irresistibly magnetic? A cheerful disposition isn't just about being happy. It's about spreading an infectious optimism that draws others to you. Cultivating a positive outlook can transform your interactions, making you more engaging and appealing to those around you. Seneca once said, He who is brave is free. This sentiment can be applied to maintaining a positive attitude. By embracing a positive mindset, you free yourself from negativity and become a beacon of optimism for others. This energy not only enhances your appeal, but also fosters more enjoyable and uplifting interactions. To harness this positive energy, start by focusing on gratitude and optimism in your daily life. Simple practices like acknowledging what you're grateful for or framing challenges as opportunities can shift your perspective and enhance your interactions. For example, approaching conversations with genuine interest and enthusiasm can make you more captivating and enjoyable to be around. This approach aligns with stoic principles of focusing on what you can control your attitude and outlook. By consistently radiating positivity, you embody the stoic ideal of maintaining inner harmony and spreading goodwill. This positive energy becomes a powerful tool in building meaningful connections. So, cultivate a positive mindset and let it shine through your interactions. It's a practical way to enhance your appeal and foster connections that are both enjoyable and meaningful. Lesson 10. Psychological Steadiness Have you ever encountered someone who remains calm and composed in any situation? That psychological steadiness can be incredibly attractive. A person who maintains their composure 
exudes reliability and trustworthiness, qualities that naturally draw others in. This calm demeanor isn't just about appearing unflappable. It's about projecting a sense of stability and confidence. Epictetus observed, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This stoic wisdom highlights the importance of emotional control. By managing your reactions and staying steady under pressure, you demonstrate emotional intelligence and resilience. This steadiness can make you a more attractive and dependable presence in any social or professional setting. To cultivate psychological steadiness, practice mindfulness and stress management techniques. Techniques like deep breathing or meditation can help you maintain calm during challenging situations. For example, when faced with a stressful meeting or confrontation, take a moment to breathe deeply and center yourself before responding. This practice aligns with Stoic teachings on emotional regulation and self-control. By remaining steady and composed, you reflect the Stoic ideal of maintaining inner peace and responding to external events with grace and resilience. This steadiness not only enhances your personal well-being, but also makes you a more appealing and trustworthy individual. Embrace the art of psychological steadiness and let it enhance your interactions and relationships. It's a powerful way to project confidence and reliability, making you more attractive to others. Lesson 11. Style is underrated. Have you ever noticed how the right outfit can change the way people perceive you? Style isn't just about following trends. It's about presenting yourself in a way that enhances your confidence and appeal. Well-fitted, flattering clothing can make a significant difference in how others see you and how you see yourself. As Seneca wisely said, a good character, when it's well made up, is quite as attractive as a well-dressed body. This highlights the importance of presenting yourself well while staying true to your personal style. Your clothing choices can reflect your personality and confidence, making you more approachable and appealing. To improve your style, focus on finding clothes that fit well and complement your body type. This doesn't mean you need to spend a fortune. Even simple, well-chosen pieces can elevate your appearance. For example, a tailored blazer or a pair of well-fitting jeans can make a huge difference in your overall look. This attention to style aligns with stoic principles of self-discipline and presentation. By taking pride in your appearance, you demonstrate respect for yourself and those around you. This subtle form of self-care enhances your attractiveness and builds a positive impression. So, embrace the power of style and let it enhance your personal appeal. It's a practical way to boost your confidence and make a lasting impression. Lesson 12 attractive humor. Ever wondered why some people just light up a room with their sense of humor? Humor isn't just about making jokes, it's about connecting with others in a way that showcases your intelligence, creativity, and warmth. A good sense of humor can make you more approachable and endearing, creating a bond that goes beyond superficial interactions. Marcus Aurelius once noted, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This stoic insight can be applied to humor. By cultivating a positive and clever sense of humor, you not only enhance your own happiness, but also make others feel at ease and entertained. This ability to bring joy into interactions can significantly boost your attractiveness. To develop an attractive sense of humor, start by paying attention to what makes you and others laugh. Engaging in activities that bring joy and practicing witty conversation can help you refine your humor. For instance, sharing light-hearted stories or clever observations in conversations can make you more engaging and memorable. This approach aligns with stoic teachings on joy and personal development. By embracing humor, you reflect a positive and thoughtful mindset, enriching your interactions and making you a more appealing companion. Humor becomes a tool for building genuine connections and spreading positivity. So, let your sense of humor shine and see how it enhances your relationships and appeal. It's a delightful way to connect with others and make a lasting impression. Now that you've explored these 12 stoic habits, it's time to put them into action. Each habit represents a unique opportunity to refine your interactions and enhance your personal magnetism. By embodying these principles, 
you're not just following a set of guidelines, but embracing a transformative way of connecting with others. Remember, the essence of Stoicism lies in self-mastery and authentic living. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. In this context, your true power comes from how you choose to present yourself and engage with the world. These habits aren't just tools, they are a reflection of your inner strength and wisdom. So, as you move forward, apply these insights to your daily life. Observe how these stoic practices impact your relationships and interactions, and continue to refine and adapt them. The journey of self-improvement and genuine connection is ongoing, and these habits are your guide to becoming the best version of yourself. Unleash your true potential with our ebook, Path of Wisdom, Modern Stoicism for Daily Life. Unlock the secrets to a fulfilling life today by clicking on the first pinned comment on this video. Uncover powerful methods for mastering your emotions, fostering resilience, and discovering serenity amidst life's trials. If you find this content valuable and it aligns with your interests, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment. Your support is crucial for reaching a wider audience. Don't forget, seek wisdom to illuminate your path, be brave and conquer your fears, embrace justice to foster harmony, and last but not least, cultivate temperance to achieve balance and inner peace.